What's up guys? It's um, almost week 15. It's Friday night and I think I'm ready to get my picks in. It's, it's going to be a good week. So, what do we got? We got the Miami Dolphins playing the 49ers. That, that's a long flight to make for the 49ers. You got to go all the way out to Miami. That's about as far a trip as you can make for a team from the West Coast to go all the way over to the East Coast. So, knowing that, and knowing that Miami knows they control their own destiny, and it's a young team, admittedly, but I know Chad Pennington, who knows a little something about winning, will be um, fired up for this. So I'm taking the Dolphins. Um, Indianapolis Colts Det against the uh, Detroit Lions. Um, Colts are playing like a team possessed right now, six in a row, and I see no evidence suggesting it's going to be anything less than seven in a row. And if the Lions go 0-15, and it all comes down to that Week 17 game in a Green, B Green Bay, I think they should put that game on national television, and they probably won't, but I think they should flex that game to Sunday night. Because, you know, last year people wanted to see the Patriots try and go 19-0. Well, some people wanted to see them fail, including me, but whatever. But I think that the Lions, this whole 0-16 thing is almost as interesting. So, that's what I want. <coughs> um, we got the Jets and the Bills. Both teams slipping a little bit. Well, the Bills are slipping a lot. The Jets are slipping a little. But I I like the Jets to recover at home. Um, <coughs> you know, something's just happened in Buffalo. They're, they're, they've just been completely shot of all confidence and all swagger. I, I It's difficult for me to explain. I think it starts with the head coach and staff. But, you know. Um, so I'm taking the Jets. Uh, Redskins Bengals. You know, there's nothing quite like locker room tor turmoil to kick up some dust, but I understand that Clinton Portis and Jim Zorn made up after um, Portis had some unkind things to say about Zorn in a conference. So, you know, Washington, there are other reasons why they're a little bit of a mess right now, but. I think they can get it together enough to beat a team like Cincinnati on the road, so I'm taking Washington. We got Green Bay and Jacksonville. Um, really just a completely uninteresting game here. Green Bay is out of it. Uh, Jacksonville has been out of it, so it's kind of hard to get amped up over anything in this game, but I guess I'll just, I guess I'll take Green Bay because I really do think the Jaguars have quit on Jack Del Rio. Um, I, I don't think the Packers have quit yet, even though they're eliminated. <coughs> San Diego, Kansas City. Interesting upset potential, because, you know, Kansas City does tend to play some teams tough, and San Diego's not that good. But sometimes pure raw talent can overcome some things. And the San Diego's, you know, the Chargers, they're loaded with talent. They they can't do anything with it right now, but sometimes you can win on pure talent. So I will take the Chargers to beat the Chiefs. Um, I got the Falcons over the Bucks just because they're the home team. I've said before, I'll say it again, that is the best thing you can do in these NFC South head-to-heads. So I will take Atlanta. That being said, I think it's going to be close and competitive. I'm not sure Atlanta is old enough and mature enough to live up to their side of the bargain here. When I say that, I mean in the NFC South matchups, the home team is supposed to win. That's been the um, prerequisite. I'm not sure if Atlanta is going to be able to live up to that. But I do, I will take them because this game's pretty much toss-up, so... Um, Seattle, St. Louis, as as bad as this year has been, I don't know how many of you guys know this, but if we have a real rival in the NFL that's not the Oakland Raiders or the Denver Broncos, it is the um, St. Louis Rams. 
you know, we go back with them more than any other team. I remember in 2004 when they beat us three times that year, once in the playoffs. I was I was at that playoff game. Um, and since that playoff loss, which again I was at, <coughs> we've beaten the Rams seven straight times. And that has meant quite a bit to me, I think, because... You know, it, it's not really a rivalry yet, but it's getting there, and... You know, these matchups, I don't care how bad both teams are, because both teams are awful. I have no problem admitting that. But this is still, to me, a rivalry, so... With that being said, I think we're a better team than them. I think we have more going for us than them, and I'm fairly confident that we will beat them. So I will take Seattle to beat St. Louis, which will ultimately just give them a better draft pick, but I want to go for eight in a row over the Rams. I want to keep that streak going. To hell with the draft for a second. Um, Walter Jones got put on injured reserve. He uh, opted to go under surgery, and I'm, I'm good with it. No sense in risking your career at this point. And next up, we need to shut down Matt Hasselbeck um, and anyone else who's playing with significant injuries because it's just not worth it. So it's a shame because Walter Jones has been such a trustworthy force from left tackle, and now he's been shut down. But it is what it is. Um, Tennessee Houston. Um. Another interesting offset pick here, but I think I'm going to go with the Titans. I, I <clears throat> think they're too mature to lose these games because they have not locked up the home field advantage throughout yet. So they still got quite a bit to play for, so I think they'll take out Houston. Arizona-Minnesota. This game is going to decide the third seed probably. Well, um... Whoever wins this game will probably get the third seed. Whoever loses will get the fourth seed. But Minnesota does need to watch out for Chicago, but I think Minnesota will get the, um, win that division. Not only that, this game could decide the MVP. If Warner plays really well and the Cardinals win, Warner takes the lead. If Peterson does really well and the Vikings win, Peterson takes the lead. If neither players do that well, Peyton Manning takes the lead. Drew Brees is out. Drew Brees is playing great, but you got to make the playoffs. And it doesn't look like Drew Brees is going to be there. So, all that being said, I think I'm going to take the Cardinals because it's at home and the Vikings are a dome team. And uh, I'm not sure how the weather is going to be in Arizona, but it's not going to be optimal. I'm pretty sure it's going to be pretty hot at this time of the year. Um, Pittsburgh, Baltimore. First game this year went to overtime, was very close, won by a field goal. I think I'm going to take Baltimore here. Um, you know, traditionally this is a season series that gets split. It, it Even when one team is clearly better than the other, which is not the case this year. Both these teams are very good, very good defensively and capable offensively sometimes. So, you know, Baltimore's the home team. Baltimore might have a little more to play for. That's debatable. But I think Baltimore wins here and would draw in a tie top the division. So I think the Ravens are going to take it. New England, Oakland. Looks like Matt Castle is going to play. His uh, father um, died over the week, I think, and he there was some speculation there. But he's going to play, so I will take New England to beat Oakland. But I'm very interested to see how Niamdi Asamuwa plays Randy Moss. Very interested. Um, Carolina over Denver home team, Denver, you know, they've been playing pretty well lately. I think they're due for a stinker. I'm taking Carolina. Giants, Cowboys. At first, I was picking the Giants and was like, oh yeah, that's no problem. But the more I thought about this game, uh, Jacobs isn't playing. Uh, Barber is going to be a game day decision. Uh, you know, we know Plexico Burris is out. The, da giant, the Cowboys are desperate. The Giants are not. Cowboys are playing at home. The more I thought about it, the more I like Dallas, but I don't think it's enough to swing my vote. So I am going to pick the New York Giants to win and pretty much end Dallas' season. So finally, I'm going to take the Eagles to beat the Browns. Not much of a problem here. Philadelphia, 
they're, I think they're going to get into a position where they will control their own fate leading into the last week of the season against Dallas. That's it for me. See you guys later.